Taliban reintegration, supported vocally by Afghan and international governments, as well as by a multi-million dollar reintegration and reconciliation program. But some say there can be no true peace process without justice for past crimes. <laughs> Dr. Seema Sama is known throughout Afghanistan for her championing of human rights. Former Vice President and Minister for Women's Affairs, she's now the head of the Independent Commission for Human Rights, which aims to change government policy, protect vulnerable groups, and raise awareness through means such as this puppet show for young girls. Any policy which is not focused on human rights, which is not designed based on respect for human dignity, is not going to work. Dr. Sama started out as a medical doctor, but has since received honorary degrees from universities all over the world, and was nominated this year for the Nobel Peace Prize. She takes no sides, reporting on civilian casualties caused by insurgents, ISAF and Afghan forces. But when it comes to talking to the Taliban, she says the people's need for justice is greater than reaching a compromise. The desire of the people is clearly that they want justice. Not necessarily criminal justice, but kind of a justice. Acknowledgement of the suffering of the people. Her institution produced a report, a call for justice, in 2004. But she says the will is lacking, both on the Afghan and international sides, to implement its recommendations. Too much emphasis is being put on forgiveness, which further alienates the victims of 30 years of war. Some of the action has been taken, but not all of them, unfortunately. And we do believe that we cannot really uh, have um, reconciliation without justice. We do believe somehow acknowledgement has to be done. With a new report on transitional justice due out in the next few months, Dr. Sama fears that her recommendations will be ignored in favor of appeasing traditionalists instead of reforming the justice system. Imagine even now, after eight, nine years in this country, we're still not seriously looking on reform of the judiciary system. We jump on informal justice system, and we try to claim that the informal justice system is a good way. And, and this is a mistake, absolutely a mistake. However, she acknowledges the progress that has been made in a country where in the past simply using the term human rights was a crime. And while abuses may still occur, organizations such as hers are now able to protect and speak out for the victims. There is no doubt we took some step, positive steps. I mean, one of the positive steps is the establishment of this Human Rights Commission. I mean, no, we were able to, to say these things. This is a big achievement. I mean, what we did not achieve enough is the confidence of the public. That we need. This is Ruth Owen in Kabul for the Nature Channel.